Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So friends, you already probably know that uh, last week Llama, which is Meta's version of a large language model, something that's very similar to ChatGPT, in fact, it was actually created to compete with ChatGPT, was leaked. Now Llama was never previously been released for some reason and now the leak is actually in our hands. But in order to run this leak, you had to go through some hurdles in its specific types of hardware and it was difficult to run by simple layman like you and me. But some good folks decided to do all of that hard work and put it in a website which I have in front of me so that you can actually use Llama for the first time without having to go through all the hurdles of installing it and configuring it and do all the other things. So I have Llama in front of me. It is in a website called alpaca.point.space. I'm going to give you the link underneath the video so you can check it out for yourself. And also today I'm going to compare Llama with uh, ChatGPT3 or 3.5, the free version of it, which I actually have over here. And we're going to see how these two compare. Now, one of the things that's been circulating is that Llama is more powerful than ChatGPT. Well, I don't know how powerful it is, but it certainly looks very interesting. Because as you can see, uh, Llama or Alpaca over here has various characters. Now, I had a chance of trying it out for a little bit and I found out that these characters are not just flavors, but basically it's Llama pretending to be one of those characters. So using Llama, you can actually talk to Albert Einstein or Elon Musk or you can talk to one of these game characters. And there are also some functional things. For example, I, I think I'll show you here. There are some helpers. So there are writer assistant Llama version and there is the expert programmer Llama version. So whatever you want or what kind of task you have in your mind, you can actually get help from one of these Llama characters or Llama flavors and they'll be able to help you out. So I hadn't had the chance to go very deep into Llama so far yet. I'm going to try and do something here and also I'm going to see how it compares to ChatGPT because my ChatGPT window is open. So let's ask the first question and I think I want to, I don't know, ask the first question to... Who do I want to talk? I want to, I want to talk with the writer assistant because I want Llama to write me a story and also I want chat GP to write me a story and let's see how these stories go. So the first thing I'm going to ask is I'm going to find out how far back is this database updated. So And I'm going to ask the same question to ChatGPT. So my database goes all the way back to 2015 when it was first created. Okay, let's ask how recent. So as you can see, ChatGPT is telling us that his knowledge is cut off at September 2021. And uh, as far as Lama is concerned, the most updated information comes from last month. So let's ask a question that I'm thinking ChatGPT does not know and Llama should know. So it is really updated. So as you can see, uh, Llama is updated. At least the model that is used in Point Alpaca is updated. And in uh, ChatGPT is not that updated. Of course, we already knew that. So let's ask, since we are talking with the writer, let's ask uh, the writer to write me a story. Absolutely. Um, it actually already wrote me a short story. Um, okay, let's read that. Uh, Once upon a time, there lived an adventurous young girl called Sarah. I'm sure you can see the screen so you can read for yourself. Um, if you want, you can pause and read the story and make up your mind who is actually writing the better story. And Chat GPT is also writing story. Okay, it's not a bad story, but it's not a mind-boggling story either. And of course, um, Lama has written me a very simple story. It's not even a story, it's a paragraph. I don't know what this is. But let's ask you to write a detailed story or a bit longer story. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do the same for me. So Lama didn't give me any five paragraph. It gave me, well, maybe perhaps two paragraph. Okay, so this story is not even being nice to your elders. I don't know what uh, this story is about. I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's about an old man telling a tale to young children. I don't know. I'm not happy with this result, actually. And uh, this story. And how is this story? The wise old turtle. Okay, I already like the name of the story. Okay, 
okay so i wouldn't say that it's a very good story but it has much better structure to be a good story and maybe you can work with this story the llama story i'm not really happy with it i think it didn't really follow my instruction because i asked it to write five paragraphs but it only wrote me three paragraphs and uh, the story is not really making sense to me all right so uh, it failed uh, to be a story writer let's try something else let's go to one of the other personas that uh, llama has and let's ask it to do some maths or try and explain me the science of something and let's select albert einstein He's asking me what brings you to the world of theoretical physics so i should be able to ask any physics question and get good answers so let's ask and i'm going to ask the same question to chat gpt okay so yeah it's a very simple explanation but i asked it to explain to me like i'm a five-year-old and i think if i were a five-year-old i'd be pretty happy with it it's still generating Okay, so it's slow in generating the answer, but I think it is generating a much better answer because I think it's trying to make sense of things and I think that if I were a five-year-old, I would like this answer better. So yeah, it's actually trying to explain to me what exactly a black hole is and why is it called black, you know, and how it kind of looks. So it's giving me a lot of ideas like if you're a five-year-old or, or, or if I were like someone very young and had absolutely no idea what a black hole is, I think this is the kind of answer that I would expect to hear in order to sort of have an idea or, or have some kind of visualization in my head about what it is and what it might look like. But yes, it is giving me a much larger answer. But then again, you have to remember that ChatGPT has more data points in it, whereas this one is really an unofficial port and this one has like only 7 billion data points, whereas the ChatGPT that I'm using has 175 billion data points. So obviously it's going to be a bit behind uh, compared to ChatGPT. So I think it's really kind of an unfair sort of a comparison because we're really sort of talking to a very kid kind of a conversationalist to someone who's an adult professor i would say and it's actually giving me an answer like that you know it's it's actually uh, making better explanations it's actually giving me or telling me better stories so the maturity is sort of visible when i'm actually talking to chat gpt as opposed to i'm talking to uh, llama but llama is well as most people say or users of the system or those who know the system very well so that llama is technically or some other way some way or the other um, much more powerful compared to chat gpt but we do not know that power because it's very hard to really sort of download all of that leaked information and really compile it and run it in our own system now our systems are very simple systems like uh, most of our computer systems are actually unable to handle the full model of a large language model so it has to be run in a separate really powerful server so that it can give us the kind of answers that we expect from it. So obviously chat GPT has very powerful servers. It's backed well, you know, it has like billions of dollars of, um, you know, funding. So it has got very good servers to give us really, really good results and answers. Whereas uh, the point alpaca website probably doesn't have that kind of funding. Probably, you know, it's on a very regular commercial server serving us with very little amount of data points that it can uh, process with its processing power in the servers so okay let's let's just uh, ask both of them to write as a poetry and let's see what kind of poetry it generates uh, well in order to create a poetry let's see if we can go to another persona who do we go to do we have another writer i really like that personas it has very interesting okay let's go to librarian emily hmm well, it can help people find the perfect book. So now let's give. So I think we should just go back to the writer assistant. Okay, it's a nice little uh, love poem, which I like. It's actually very good. It rhymes well. It's good to read. And now let's see. And it only gave me what? Like, like two lines, maybe. So um, obviously... The winner is ChatGPT because obviously it has more processing powers, it has more data points, it understands the requirements better, it's probably trained much better. So the clear winner here is uh, ChatGPT. 
but the only caveat being that chatgpt is knowledge database is cut off at september 2021 so it can't really tell you anything about the recent events and it cannot tell you about recent things like you know a stock market or you know any medical advances or you know some other advances in the field of science and technology which i think llama can tell us but even if it is able to tell us about the recent advancements and recent news and development it cannot give very good answer because i think its capability is very much uh, you know um, locked by the number of data points that it has in the server where it's running and also the fact that the servers here are not so powerful or not as much powerful as chat gpt so it can only give you so much i would still say that it's a kind of a fun thing that you can try because it has all of these you know personas and if you like to chat with let's say lara croft or gerald of rivia or if you want to chat with albert einstein and if it's a you know a simple chit chat then it can be very amusing for you to chat with llama but if you're really into serious kind of usage if you want some serious information if you want the ai to write you an advertisement if you if, if you if you want it to explain scientific things to you then i think chat gpt is the one that you need to go to so i hope you like today's comparison video and if you like this video then please support me by clicking the subscribe button so see you again later on another video concerning ai till then goodbye